Alexei Danilov, Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, sees two possible options for the future of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, voluntary or enforced self-neutralization. The best and safest way to preserve the integrity of the property economic complex of the city of Sevastopol and the surrounding areas is voluntary shipwreck. The famous Russian military reflection, the destruction of one's own fleet when the enemy approaches, should have time, continuity and tradition of succession. Otherwise, the Russian Black Sea Fleet will be sliced up like a salami. The process is painful, but the armed forces of Ukraine conduct precision strikes exclusively on military infrastructure, he added. It should be noted that the Russian Ministry of Defense reported an attack with guided missiles and aircraft type UAVs on occupied Crimea on the morning of the 22nd of September, claiming that the Russians had managed to shoot down one missile and two drones. Later, reports came in of the missile attack on the headquarters of the Black Sea Fleet on the afternoon of the 22nd of September. Russia's defense ministry even admitted to the death of one soldier, even though he was later given the status of missing in action.